What is awareness? Look around you, you see a world of colors, shapes, and textures. You hear the symphony of sounds around you. You feel the chair beneath you, the air on your skin. This is your conscious experience, the subjective feeling of being alive and aware. But what exactly is consciousness and how does it arise? For centuries, philosophers and scientists have grappled with this question. We can study the brain, map its intricate networks and analyze its electrical signals. But how do these physical processes give rise to the subjective experience of being? Think of a book. It's full of information, right? Now imagine reading that book. Suddenly, those words come alive with meaning. They spark emotions, memories and ideas. Your conscious mind transforms inert information into a vibrant inner world. Consciousness is more than just processing information. It's about experiencing the world around us and within us. The human brain is the most complex structure in the known universe. It contains billions of neurons interconnected in a vast web of unimaginable complexity. This neural network allows us to think, feel and experience the world. Yet, the origin of consciousness remains a puzzle. Some believe that consciousness is an emergent property of complex systems. Like the wetness of water emerges from the interaction of its molecules, consciousness may arise from the intricate interplay of neurons in the brain. Others propose that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe, like space and time. In this view, our brains don't create consciousness, but rather tune into it, much like a radio receives specific frequencies. The debate is far from settled. We lack a definitive theory that explains how subjective experience arises from objective matter. Could a machine ever truly experience these things, or would it merely be simulating them? Consciousness is not a single monolithic entity. It operates on multiple levels, from conscious thoughts to vast unconscious processes. Think of an iceberg. The tip represents our conscious mind. This is where we focus our attention and make decisions. Beneath lies the subconscious, a larger mass. Memories, emotions and automatic processes operate here. This hidden realm influences our thoughts and behaviours. The hard problem of consciousness, a term coined by philosopher David Chalmers, highlights the challenge of explaining subjective experience. We can study the brain and understand its functions, we can map its regions and analyze its activity. But how do these processes give rise to the feeling of what it's like to experience the redness of red or the sweetness of chocolate? Imagine a scientist studying the brain of a bat. They can map its auditory cortex and understand its echolocation. But can they ever truly know what it's like to experience the world through sound? This is the crux of the hard problem. While we often think of consciousness as an individual experience, the concept of collective consciousness proposes a shared awareness among individuals within a group. This collective consciousness encompasses shared beliefs, values, ideas, and even emotions that connect individuals on a deeper level. Think of a large crowd at a concert or sporting event. The collective energy, the shared emotions, and the synchronized behaviors create a palpable sense of unity. This shared experience transcends individual consciousness, connecting people through a common emotional thread. Collective consciousness can manifest in societal trends, cultural movements, and even political revolutions. When a group of individuals shares a common goal, belief, or experience, their combined consciousness can create a powerful force for change. The internet and social media have amplified the concept of collective consciousness, connecting people across geographical boundaries and shaping collective opinions and behaviors. Imagine a global movement advocating for action on climate change. Millions of individuals connected through shared concern and a desire for a sustainable future can collectively influence policies and drive change on a global scale. Our everyday waking consciousness is just one mode of experience. Altered states of consciousness, such as meditation, hypnosis, dreaming and psychedelic experiences, offer windows into the vast potential of the human mind. These states can temporarily shift our perception of reality, alter our sense of self and even unlock hidden creativity and insight. Meditation, for example, involves focusing attention and calming the mind. Regular practice can lead to increased self-awareness, reduced stress and a deeper understanding of one's own thoughts and emotions. 
Some experienced meditators report achieving states of profound peace, unity, and even mystical experiences. Psychedelic substances, on the other hand, induce more dramatic alterations in consciousness. They can distort perception, blur the boundaries between self and other, and trigger intense emotional experiences. While these substances carry risks, they have also been used in controlled settings to explore creativity, treat addiction, and alleviate end-of-life anxiety. Altered states of consciousness can evoke a sense of wonder, reminding us of the plasticity of perception and the boundless potential of the human mind. As artificial intelligence advances at an unprecedented rate, the question of whether machines can achieve consciousness looms large. We've built machines that can defeat grandmasters at chess, recognize faces with superhuman accuracy, and even generate human quality text. But can we create a machine that truly experiences the world, feels emotions, and possesses self-awareness? Some experts believe that artificial consciousness is only a matter of time. They argue that as AI systems become more complex and sophisticated, they will inevitably cross the threshold into sentience. Others remain skeptical, arguing that consciousness is fundamentally tied to biological life and cannot be replicated in silicon. The implications of artificial consciousness are profound. If we create machines capable of experiencing the world and feeling emotions, how will we treat them? Will they be granted the same rights and considerations as humans? Consciousness, the ability to experience the world and to reflect upon ourselves, is a gift. It allows us to marvel at the beauty of a sunset, to form deep connections with others, and to contemplate the mysteries of the universe. Yet despite centuries of inquiry, consciousness remains one of the most profound enigmas facing humanity. We are still in the early stages of understanding this fundamental aspect of our existence. The journey to unravel the mysteries of consciousness requires collaboration between neuroscientists, philosophers, psychologists, and perhaps even artists and mystics. Each new discovery, every theory proposed, every question asked, brings us one step closer to comprehending the true nature of awareness.